Hello, YouTube. Hello, lovely people and souls and creatures and all the wonderful things out there. I am Heather. This is Yarrow and Moon. Uh, I am the contemplative witch, which essentially just means I think about things all the time. And I do have a contemplative meditative practice. And a lot of that revolves around being outdoors. I am a um, nature witch, green witch, um, although that does have a different connotation depending on who you ask. Um, some people call me a hedge witch. I just call myself uh, herb nerd, witchy herb nerd, really. You can hear my wren chittering who I love, my little Wren. I don't have my glasses on because I'm having some vision issues. I need, I just got bifocals, but I've learned that I have um, a, a focal distance. And of course, wherever my camera is happens to be the wrong distance. So my eyes get a little wonky. So that's just part of my life that I'm dealing with. And um, I just did a little unboxing, which I will post shortly, but I have had in my mind to put out this tag. I am super busy, super tired. You know, I have chronic pain and illness that I deal with on a daily basis, but I still commit myself to small, little small things every day, little small, what I call small magics or rituals, or, um, in some cases this could be construed as, um, you know, I'm sure there's some borderline superstitions in there, but maybe not. I don't know. But I, I and I want to hear from you guys. What are your little small magic? So I'm going to give you some examples. Um, like, what are the little things that bring magic into your day? Or, and you don't have to be a witch to do this. This is, these are things that anybody can do um, in, without labels, right? Nobody needs to label themselves as anything to do this. Uh, I, for one... Uh, I often come out to my herb garden, right, just like this, and I pick a little piece of rosemary, and I put it in my pocket, or in my cleavage. Just going to be honest there. Um, sometimes I'll put it behind my ear, and then I have my sage, my garden sage here. My friend, thank you, thank you, thank you. I always say thank you, always say thank you. Thank you to the plants you pick bless them for their gifts. These are little magics. Blowing dandelion fluff and making a wish. You can't do that all the time. That's not an everyday thing, but during the spring when the dandelions are poofy, if you allow those to grow in your garden, which I highly recommend that you do, uh, because they are not only a delightful little flower and fluff ball, they also um, help your soil. Just saying. Um, and picking four leaf clovers, if you can find them, or just picking clover. I usually can almost always find a four leaf clover out here. I have that, that is one of my few skills, natural skills, is I can almost always find a four leaf clover wherever I'm sitting in clover. Um, I have a list here, hold on. So breathing, breathing, just, just taking a moment to breathe. A, a mini, a, a micro mini meditation. That's just what I consider a small, magic, right? Just something little in your spiritual toolkit, right? Your uh, self, um, uh, self love toolkit, your uh, just getting through the day. These are the things I'm talking about, small magics, right? Little things. Um, walking barefoot on the ground, um, looking up, and no, just noticing the sky, the clouds, the moon, the leaves and the trees, noticing those things, taking a moment to be like, that is beautiful. Thank you. Saying thank you, little gratitudes, right? Little affirmations. Um, my, if I were to have, I don't really have a, a deity exactly, but if I did it, she would be Gaia and I do, I don't usually personify her as such, but uh, there is this this essence of Gaia that I am grateful for every single day. 
and I try to go out and say thank you, thank you to Gaia every day uh, in appreciation for this organism that we all inhabit, right? Uh, another little thing is just carrying a stone in your pocket, a little, a little pocket stone, a worry stone that you can rub or think about, a pebble in your pocket. If you've read Tich Nhat Hanh, I know little Zen Crone talked about that book recently. Um, something to, to put your worries into or to help you remember something. Um, rosemary is an herb of remembrance. So just that smell um, in folklore is supposed to help with memory. These are all what I call little magics or small magics, right? So I'm going to, I'm, this tag that I'm putting out is I just want to hear from you about what are the little tiny things that you do on a daily or semi-daily basis, or it doesn't even have to be daily, but just, just something that is so small and simple that anyone can do it almost any time. Lighting a candle or, or a stick of incense. That moment of blessing that the flame gives, that the incense gives, the cleansing, uh, just that tiny little moment. If you take just that second that it takes to light a match or flick the, the lighter, and say thank you for that flame. That's a small magic. Uh, it, it, it all boils down to intention. So when you put intention into the little things that you do every day, it creates a spiritual space, a, a, a bubble around these beautiful moments, right? These tiny little daily moments. Uh, say, blessing your food or water uh, to, to say grace. Uh, I grew up, you know, saying grace before every meal or at least evening meals. And uh, we got out of that habit as I kind of went away from Christianity. And in the last year or so, my family and I have begun saying a grace or a gratitude before we eat dinner, thanking, you know, the earth for bringing forth the food that we eat and for all the hands and creatures that went into creating it, creating this meal for us. These little things. Uh, I am, if I were to be borderline superstitious about anything, it's composting. I know that sounds really funny, but to give back to the earth every little thing that we have. And I don't have a fancy compost pile, guys. I just have a pile um, behind my shed. And I, you know, we have yet to even use the soil from that. Um, but it's a very healthy spot, let me tell you. Just, and the one thing I'm most almost superstitious about uh, composting is my tea or any herbal if I do anything with my herbs from this garden like I get I freak out if the leftover matter from that doesn't go back into the compost like it's this cycle um, part of that Gaia organism that going back into the earth and creating fertilizer again that's important to me recycling in general is important to me uh, just anything that you do mindfully if you take a walk to, uh, I did an entire, uh, my, my entire graduate thesis was centered around the idea of walking meditation. It went on beyond that, but to, to take a walk uh, was a meditative process. And you don't have to do that for the whole walk. You can do that for a minute to where you're just walking, you're just breathing. You don't have to worry about what you're seeing. You don't have to worry about what you're anything, but just the walking. Uh, Tich Nhat Hanh is one of, and I hope I'm saying his name right. I never say that name right, but I love his work. I love his writing. And I, I focus a lot of my work around his walking meditation practices. Uh, there's a lot of stuff online. I will see if, if I can find some links, I will post them. Um, just listening you hear all the birds birds are going crazy right now my air conditioner is humming I can hear traffic in the way distance there's not a lot of wind so I can't hear the, the wind rustling the trees right now but oh the birds and there's probably a chipmunk out there chittering and if you really get I love to listen to the wind in the trees too and listening to people, to really listen to them, to, to, to take yourself out of your own head and to hear the world around you. 
that's a small magic. Uh, just pulling a tarot card for all, I mean, most people watching this channel right now are tarot people. Uh, because that's how I started. I just, I kind of used my tarot love to kind of open up to this YouTube thing and pulling a tarot card or an oracle card every day to focus on, or at the end of the day to kind of clear your mind of what happened that day and sort through it. If you journal, you journal about it. These little magics, pulling that card resets something in your brain. It's a, ma it's a magical process. Um, Let's see, wearing a piece of jewelry or uh, clothing that, that you feel that gives you power or gives you motivation. Uh, I don't have, I don't wear a particular item of clothing when I do any kind of ritual or altar practice, but some people do. And some people wear a specific piece of jewelry if they want to feel a certain way. That's a small magic. I wear this, this is a talisman of mine, the, the Triskel. Everything about threes, the Triskel is very important to me. I will spend a whole video talking about that in the future, I'm sure. For me also, I use flower essences in my water. Uh, it takes two seconds uh, to drop those two little drops into my water bottle when I'm leaving the house for the day. And I make the flower essences in a lot of, uh, a lot of time. I do purchase them from other people when I can't uh, create a certain plant or flower essence. Uh, if you don't know what those are, I promise you I will put out a video soon about flower essences and how to use them, how to make them, uh, how they can really alter your, your day. It's energetic plant medicine. I'm looking at my notes, sorry. Uh, oh, stoplight meditations. So when you're at that stoplight, especially if you're the first one there, you know you've got at least a solid minute or two, right? To just breathe, declutter your mind for that minute. Those are magical moments of our day. And things like, do you have little, little moments where you can do mudras, right? So in yoga, we do mudras, right? This is the classic one that everyone knows. There are so many mudras, just little things you can do with your fingers for moments at a time. They all, they're all different. Um, you know, even this is, sorry, this is a mudra. And just taking them up the prayer hands is a mudra. These all create and reset our bodies in different ways. It's a, it's a type of embodiment of a spiritual process. For those of you who are into EFT, which is emotional freedom technique or tapping, tapping to get us out of a space. These are small magics, small tools. This is a spiritual toolkit. Right now, I think I'm going to call this tag small magics um, or spiritual. I feel like spiritual toolkit may have already been taken. I, I did some research to see that small magics was free, at least on YouTube. I don't know how this stuff works, guys. Making tags is all new to me. So that's all I want to talk about right now. I just, ooh, somebody's revving up back there. I just want to ask you guys, ladies, folks, people, sorry, I'm trying to get out of the habit of saying guys, there's this whole, you know, it's a, and I say it because I, I've said it my entire life, but I realize it excludes certain gender preferences and I apologize for that. I'm, I make mistakes. I am human. I am working on my language as much as I can. This is a good platform for me to continue to work on it and apologize for it publicly. I am trying to not say guys all the time. That may sound weird to some of you, but it's just, it's just a fact. I want to say people, folks, creatures, souls. I think souls works the best because that encompasses just about absolutely everyone and everything. So that's why I try to start my day, or my, sorry, excuse me, my videos by saying lovely souls. So lovely souls, after that little tirade, I now have to go home, into my kitchen and cook dinner for my family. And I, I will put a blessing in that food and that will be my small magic for today. If you do one of just one little thing a day, I'm curious as to what that is. What are your small magics? What are your, what is your spiritual toolkit? What are your everyday 
awesomeness sauce, so, awesome sauce that you put on your day. Please tell me. Link back to my video if you want. Uh, this is far less about me trying to get noticed and far more about me wanting to know more about you all. So thank you and blessings from my garden. May the birds, uh, in, uh, I don't know, may they just make you happy like they do me. Cheers and blessings.